this is an emergency I beg in urgency, this is a serious case So let me get these cars a shuffle then I can break the energy I went to the ocean today on my job when I was going to a convention on the way back I stopped by the ocean how beautiful. Yeah, the wind was just, the, the water was crashing and it kept slapping me. My jeans got hard, I guess, from the midst of the salt water, but it was a nice time. Gave a little offering to Yemaya and got back in the truck and vented. All right, so I want. Do I have permission to cut your card? Yes. All right. Off the bat, I'm going to tell you what spirit telling me, right? They say you're you're kind of confused. Now, this confusion that you're facing, you're asking two two deities for two different things if you follow me. Cuz they just said she's asking me for money and then she's asking this deity over here to to uh bad choice uh you're asking one for a car and the other for a house you following me they say that you're you're praying to two different gods okay that's what that's off the bat so they said you gotta fix that you need to make a decision to to go to one now you can you can go to each one of the orishas each one of your archangels you can go to Jesus and Buddha, Allah, you can go to each one. But understand that you need to bring all your problems to that one and allow that deity to distribute portions of that problem out if you're following. This is what they're saying for you. You got it. All right. So that being said, what's your first question? Nursing school, I'm having an issue. I just got dropped two weeks ago, and I'm going to apply again. Is nursing for me? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Is nursing and for her? And this time, I'm going to do LPN, not RA. Is nursing for her spirit? Let her know. Is nursing for her? It says crystal. Is nursing for her spirit? You can do it. Is nursing for her spirit? Fertility. Idea. Crystal. See, you're seeing a better way of looking at things, and they say you can do it, but they got the fertility here. If you you sure you don't want to go into anything dealing with baby but with baby uh, nursing, uh, like delivering babies, taking care of babies, because they got the fertility card here, man, and that and you talk about educating yourself, and they saying educate on a baby, you can do it, and fertility. Um. That probably will be the next step, but first I have to take the first step first. Okay, okay. It's like I'm just having a hard issue with it. All right, Spirit. So she, she recognized that you telling her her end result is working in the prenatal or natal. I don't know which word it is. Working in the prenatal field. What about now, Spirit? What about now? What about now? It says balanced career and home life. Again. You can you can you can do the nursing, but there's something you're not doing at home. Like there, the spirit is saying you keep failing because there's an imbalance. Let's say you're you're not studying hard enough at home because you're too busy taking care of other people. Just the lightest thing I could think of. Then when you it's time to take the test, you rushing. They say you need to get balanced career and home. So if you're going to be a nurse, you need to tell the kids or everybody, hey, back the fuck up. I'm studying. I mean, and mean it. Don't let them keep bothering you. Don't, hey, baby, let me do this. They say there's no balance. So it's not that you can't pass the test. It's not that you can't do it. It's just that saying that you don't have the, the proper, you're not in the proper mind space to focus truly on this particular goal. But on the light side, they say if you can quiet yourself and really focus, you, they'll, they'll help you along with it. Hmm. That should that should have answered your question and a little more, but if it didn't. It did. 
Um, what God am I supposed to like? What did the Spirit tell me? What God am I supposed to honor? Because really, I'm an atheist. Yep. You're not an atheist, you're a spiritualist or a humanist. They say you believe in God because you wouldn't believe in a goddamn spirit telling you something on tarot. They say don't play with them. Well, you know, I love tarot cards. Oh, okay. I, you know, I try to do it myself. So you, let me tell you um, something. That's the bad, that's a poor definition of an atheist. Like I say, you're a spiritualist. That don't mean you got to serve one God. That means you just got to recognize the spirit inside everybody else. Make sense? Okay. So atheism is very hard, but even when one of the yes about to die, they call on who? God. <laughs> All right. So which God she's supposed to serve, or what do you recommend, Spirit, on her spirituality? That's a better question. Give her a taste of her spirituality. Give her some insight on how she should be, what she should be, what she should do. It says peace offering. Stop being too hard on yourself. All right, so... Oh, serious? Church hurt. Oh, gotcha. Follow your heart. Yeah, peace offering. Follow your heart. And relax. So, basically what they're saying, the reason why you're rejecting religion and all this shit, that was a little, that was a little, little, something happened to you in the church about around an offering, an offering plate, or something dealing with in church, walking, they showing me walking around, you know how when you drop that money in the offering plate, and they say something happened right there because it was a peace offering. You you got rubbed right there. You had to be about nine years old, if that. But they say that you said, fuck this church shit because you done seen everything else. So then it says, follow your heart. Your heart told you to get away from all the religious stuff, really. It was, it was a heart thing because you just couldn't see how could something like this happen to someone you care about or you felt for, you know, where is God? You know what I'm saying? And then it says, yeah. just relax. It says, so the whole thing about it is you're still a child of the most high, but you can call him whatever you want. Just make sure you call him. Mm. I don't know if that Will is. Will I ever get married? You jump from one extreme to the next. <laughs> Will, I mean, I have a couple of questions. Ask them all. Ask them all. Will she ever get married, Spirit? Will she ever get married? Go now. Will she ever get... Oh, who in the, who in the picture? Go now. Energy healing. Will she ever get married? Choose peace. Who you arguing with? Somebody smoke cigarettes, too. Who you arguing with? That's no, I'm not arguing with anybody. I'm not even dating well, who you rejecting, I should say, uh, or, or being combative with or running from. Anything of that nature on a, I'm getting away from this person. They smoke cigarettes. Either you smoke cigarettes or they smoke cigarettes because I don't smell nothing but cigarettes. I smoke. So they must be smoking cigarettes. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking to anybody. I ignore everybody like. Who my are you? told me my expectations are too high. So who are you running from? You Didn't the spirit just ask you that? Who are you running from? Didn't I just say, what are you running from? How are you going to expect to get married when you're sitting up here pushing everybody away? So Because they're not for me. They're not. Then you don't want to get married. So, Every man on the planet not for I you. Do want, I do, but I want somebody with some morals. You know what I mean? With a job. Well, then, how about you start asking the universe for that versus telling the universe ain't no man for you. Universe say, well, hell, ain't no man for her. We done created 15 billion people on this planet, and she say not one on four, so fuck it. That's not our problem. That's hers. You following? Yeah. So you bringing this on yourself, so will you ever get married? You answered your own question right there. Spirit says, go now. Energy healing. Choose peace, meaning go towards somebody, stop running, stop being combatant, heal your little heart when it comes to love, and choose peace. Be at peace with this decision. But this person is going to smoke cigarettes. That's the bottom line. Oh. Get you some hairspray and some uh, Febreze and let it roll. 
Asking the tough questions to y'all. Where's she gonna meet this particular gentleman at? Where's she gonna meet this boat? Health and healing. Herb, herbal shop. Where's she gonna meet this guy at? Trust. Or health and healing. Trust. Where's she gonna meet this guy at? Let it go. You're gonna meet this guy inside your uh inside your schooling or in the hospital. Right? You're gonna be working in the hospital, medical field. You're gonna meet this guy. But they they're telling you. You have to let it go. They saying first you gotta have health and healing. You gotta make sure your heart is healed. Then they say you gotta learn how to trust somebody. And then they say even after you learn how to trust something, you're gonna have to let a lot of shit go around you. They say you're gonna have to really change your whole lifestyle uh, for to be married to this person. Okay. Well, I do a little candle work. A little candle work? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I like doing it. I want to... You know what? Other things. I want to stop you right well, here. I want to stop you right here. So you remember at the beginning of the reading where I say the spirits say you're serving two gods or you're serving two masters, right? Yeah. Now you... I, do you know why they said that about you? You, one you say you don't believe yeah. in you, one say you don't believe in a God, you're an atheist, but then the other one say then you say I'm sitting up here burning candles. I'm 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 wishing on something to come down and help. Spirit is not is not playing with this here. You either gonna serve one to manifest what you want, or you're gonna allow that other one to go away. So either you're either you're a spiritualist or you're an atheist. If you're an atheist, stop burning candles, stop praying to God. Stop having moral scruples, all that other stuff. Come up with your own ideology. If you're a spiritualist, keep burning your candles, keep praying, keep putting God first. Do that make sense to you? But the candle, I don't think the candles. I don't think that's God. It's like um, they say that uh, you know, like mix up stuff. I don't want to call her a root lady, but what else should I call her? We could be called root people, obias, witches. I don't give a fuck. She don't either. <laughs> what we're talking about is the simple fact that the universe is not giving you exactly what you want because you're not really paying attention to the universe. You're 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 looking at the universe as a gang. Oh, I can sit over here and be hardcore. But then if I need something from you, I could go burn a candle and, and hope that you get it. No, you burn a candle and know that you're going to get it from that source. You can't say, well, I don't believe in nothing. Now, you can say, I don't believe in Christ. You can say, I don't believe in Buddha. Buddha. You can say, I don't believe in Allah. You can say, you don't believe in any other thing. But to say you're an atheist, that you don't believe in anything in heaven, anything on the earth, the cosmos, they don't like that. They turn it back on you. Mm, okay. So, I, if I were you, I I think you you better you know stand for something before you fall for anything. Okay. But you gonna meet. Why this, can't meet? Well, oh, hold on. But you're gonna meet this person in a medical setting. When you get this job at the hospital, you're gonna meet this person. But you gotta let go of all the the, the nonsense. Okay. Okay. Um. Why do me and my mom, I mean, why do my mom, why can't my mom just stand me so much? Like, why does she hate me so much? Spirit, I need an ancestor. Why do her mother hate her so much? Why is she conflicted and combative with her mother? Twin flame, why is she so combative with her mother? You are seeing the situation accurately. Why is she so combative? Right. Okay, here we go. Your mother is upset because a man ran away from her, left her, and you was kind of like the reason. So, mm -hmm. listen to me now. You people hold secrets, but I'm telling you exactly what they told me. Mama had a mate, right? You follow me so far? Yeah. The mate 
couldn't deal with you. Maybe you were fighting to make. You know what you were doing when you were growing up or right now, however. So basically, there's a blame game going on. All right, so the mate between the mate, the blame game, and somebody writing somebody from far away, this is showing me that somebody left. So I'm thinking your mother is blaming you for losing a good man or something like that. I don't know what y'all discussed. If y'all, if she ever discussed anything about her old boo and y'all was beefing at one point, but that's that's the bottom line. She's blaming you for losing a man. Deep down inside, it's your fault she's not with Fred. So why do Nikita hate me so much, my sister? Nikita. Mm -hmm, my sister. Nikita. Why, do, why does Nikita hate her spirit? See the other person's point of view. She's just tagging along with mom. You just see the other person. Like, mom gave her a reason. That doesn't make any sense. So let me pull another one. Why does Nikita hate her? It says persistence. Only she's just in this to keep the shit going. You know? Why does Nikita hate her? It says purification. They just she Nikita hates you because she just wants you to go away. She just wants you to go away and never come back. Jealousy. I would say uh, jealousy and, and anger. Because she's taking your mother's side. And your mother is upset of a man situation. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, yeah. What you said that for? Y'all got some issues here. I mean, they have some issues. I don't know what it is. If you you can't say they have issues and exclude yourself. You gotta say we all of y'all got some issues. You just choosing not to deal with them, motherfucker. But all y'all got the issue together. I, mean, I tried, I I tried, and I just said, you know what, I'm just gonna give up. Yeah, I tried. 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 Should you ask spirit? Should you give up? No, because okay. I already gave up. I don't have to ask spirit that one. Okay. Um, so where, it doesn't matter where I go, why can't nobody just stand me? <laughs> Spirit, why can't anyone tolerate her priorities? Why can't anyone tolerate her retreat to nature? Why can't anyone tolerate her <laughs> clear and share their energy? Nobody can tolerate you because you, you boast too damn much. You boast too damn much. Like you boast and you don't think about. You don't think about. It. They say you don't shut up. Say so you tell a bitch off. You talk. You tra You trash talk. You brag. Because they say a priority. Nothing to brag on. Oh boy. Oh boy. Are you gonna be in one of these denial readings? Oh wait a minute. Yeah, I did one time. A couple of times I did. I, I only brag once or twice <laughs> in my life. Your persona, your personality brags, you know what I'm saying? When you walk up to somebody, you can be like, oh, bitch, you ain't got it like this. And you walk on, regardless how poor you are. Maybe maybe you stack like a brick house. Bitch is upset. Then you showing it all. Look at this, I'm flaunting it. You know, it, things like that. But they saying that priorities mean jobs. Priority means uh, lifestyles, how you holding your, how they holding your business down. And then it got retreat into nature. Meaning that you just don't know how to, and you don't have a chill button on you. And then it says clear and shield your energy. They saying get rid of all that, all that uh, combativeness, that negativeness. That's the second or third time that word come up in here, combativeness. You got to stop it. You got to stop it. I'm going to tell you straight up. I don't know you. And I thank you for trusting me to do this reading, but I'm telling you what I'm saying. You are so combative. It's a, always to, straight to the negative before you even look for the positive. Why, you need to ask spirit, how can you stop that? What's the key line border issues to that? Why you feel like you have to be like that? Well, I already, I already know why. 
and I'm not something talking about I'm not talking about something they hurt you, the family hurt you, so now you gotta be nasty to them. This is outside your family scope is what they're showing me. This is everybody. This is everybody you're combative with. If you're not trying to get a deal out of them, get some from them, but you're combative. Really? Yeah. All right. Say say this right here with me. I'm telling you. Okay. Spirit says this, this, and this. Nope. Not uh. Not me. I don't know you to make this up. Spirit is sitting up here telling. So now you're even combative with the spirit. It's time to really say, damn, am I really that bitchy? <laughs> you know? Yeah. It's okay. It's okay to take your own inventory. It's better you take your inventory and know your count than someone else doing it. So that's why people don't like you. you at times, you're a very combative person. You have a very combative nature. So can a person tell that just by looking at me or something? I ain't got to throw no cards. Hell yeah. Um, How old are you? I'm 42. And you don't know that? I mean, I don't know. All I know, uh, I was in my little pre-med program. And the counselor, she was like, it's something about you. I just don't like you. <laughs> and then me and her got into it. I said, you know, I said, couple things to her and she told me not her to but I said she did it first <laughs> uh, I got people like that man I just look at him like man I just dislike that person but you know what I follow up with that and this is a message from you from spirit matter of fact this is a message from Abraham Lincoln what the fuck is he showing up here for well he showed up Abraham Lincoln says, anytime you look at somebody and you say, I don't like that person, you're supposed to instantly say, well, I got to get to know that person. I don't know how that resonates for you, but uh, Abraham Lincoln series. Jesus. One more question before this ends. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I look after this older man, um, probably in his 80s. Mm-hmm. And I don't know why everybody was sitting because I think a lot of people in town wanted to look after him. They thinking he's about to go somewhere, but you know how you just, you know this person ain't going, going nowhere like for a decade or so? Right. If he do, is he going to leave me something? Spirit, is this particular individual going to leave her a gift? Is this guy going to leave her money? It says, one, detach from drama. Is this person going to leave her money? Come out of the closet. Is this person going to leave her money? It says, floor prosperity. Oh, wow, surprisingly, yes. Detached from drama. Probably, what? I say surprisingly, yes. Well, first, Spirit is giving me a message. You need to detach from drama. Don't argue with his family. Don't argue with people. Just be you. Be nice. Be decent. Detach from all drama around you. This is the time where you don't be combative from shit. If somebody said, I don't like your hair, okay, cool, it's mine. Let it go. Detach from drama. Second, come out of the closet. Stop acting like you so fucking rough and tough with your Afro puff big time ass. Stop it. Come out of the closet and show somebody a softer side of you. And yes, he's going to leave you some money. Flow of prosperity, so he's going to leave you something. I know you're not doing it for the money, but he's going to leave you something. Thank you for your time. Yeah. You're welcome. Can the spirit tell you anything else? Because I'm thinking somebody put something on me. I have the worst luck ever. I'll ask, Spirit, is something on her that's causing her to have a uh, bad luck teacher? <laughs> Serious, Spirit, is something on her? <laughs> you got it. What are you laughing for? The Spirit fucking with you. 
So you pissed off you pissed off one of your educators. You, uh, it was a female teacher you pissed off that she did this to you. And this bitch is sitting back laughing at you. So whoever you went to school with, teacher, educator, professor, this person is laughing because you got teacher here. They said educator, parent, like parent. That's what they said, parent, instead of teacher, but I'm laughing. Now, this, so your parent did this to you, but your parent was supposed to be teaching you something they didn't teach you. Uh, manners. They saying they didn't teach you manners and they didn't teach you uh, discipline or something. But they said the, the parent is, your parent is sent back laughing at you. Then they said power of joy. That's why I got laughing. Like they just think it's all okay to watch you suffer. And then they got artistic expression. You asked, you asked this shit before in an argument and they said no, but they was lying. So, yep, they got something, they got something on you to hurt you, to block you, not to kill you, just to block you. How can I get rid of that and put it back on them? How would you like her to get rid of it, Spirit? Should she get rid of it? How would you like her to get rid of it? I don't know. It says drink more water. So, basically, put their names in a jar, put their names in a jar, seal it with a little bit of ammonia. Put your name in there first. Then put their names in the jar and seal it with ammonia, with a little ammonia and spring water. And don't make it so strong. And then uh, I will go to like Michael's or one of those uh, gift shops that has the thing, the, the little jars that you can close shut. Get one of them, load it up with a little ammonia and uh, water. Seal it up, wrap it up, put it in a bag, throw it in the lake and let the river wash that shit away. Is it a certain color I need to wrap it, like write it with? It's not. Just pencil, uh, just pencil on a, uh, try pencil and on a uh, brown paper bag. Was it my mother? Yep. They said mother. She's over there. Fill her in the bag and put it in the jar. That's right. It ain't gonna kill them. It's just gonna take what they put on you away. It's gonna let. But I wanted to go back on her. Then you would need a reversal candle. Get some of her material, hair, whatever, stick it in a reversal candle and burn it. She's all the way in Philadelphia. Ain't no way I can do it. Well, <clears throat> damn, that intent gonna have to be tough. Well, then you're going to have to pay somebody to do a reverse candle for you. How much? I think it's on my website. Uh, it can't be no more than 100 bucks, But I haven't set the prices on my website. My girlfriend does. Okay. All right. Well, I guess I have to go through your website. And how long will it take after I pay you? Uh, after you pay it, I, I go purchase the candle. I burn it right there. I... Get my offerings, and uh, I, it should it should start seeing results. If the top of it burn black on the reversal, I do it again for you. If not, all your luck should start reversing immediately. All right. Well, look for me in a couple of weeks. I'm surely going to do it. <laughs> and they'll let me know what, um, all the information I have to put in? Yeah. I, I'll make sure they walk you okay. through I think you want to be atheist ass for calling. <laughs> God. Well, I, just, I just want to give you a hug, man. God, bye, but I want to give you a hug. I want to break that shit. We're going to break it. All right. All right. You have a good evening, sweetie. You too. Bye.